Mr. Preacher Man, I don't want no trouble. My name is Marquise Jackson, seniorly the founder of the Break the Cycle campaign. We're talking about a movement that is changing lives in our community. And I want to thank you, pastors, leaders of this great community, for your time to check out what we are doing. So stay tuned. I won't got the same, I still walk the streets to kill us, I'm like Mr. Preacher Man. Please don't be alarmed, we just come to pray, we don't mean no harm. Okay, how's everyone doing? I hope everyone is having a wonderful, wonderful evening, night, or whatever time zone that you're in. I hope you have a wonderful time. Uh, my name is Marquise Jackson, if you just tuned in, and I am a community leader here in Savannah, Georgia. Uh, we have an office on Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard and we are doing an organization called the Break the Cycle Campaign to end poverty in our community. How exciting is that? Let me it is bit let me tell you, it is very exciting. You know, to see people's lives change, to see um, them see a way out of what they're in when they don't see a way out is just mind blowing. You know, to see people go from A to B all the way to Z and like man this is awesome to see people's organization increase in a matter of days and not weeks you can't ask for nothing better so this video today is to um, is to ask you for your help we would like to be in partnership with your organization um, I've probably sat down and talked with you or one of our members have probably sat down and talked with you and told you about our coalition team that we want to build here in our great city and other cities as well. And we want to build this coalition team because we feel that if many hands are applied to this, this situation that we have that's going on in our community, you know, the burden will be light, it will be easy. When people see that there's a group of, of people coming together, a group of organizations that really care about the community and their own personal well-being, man, we'll have a greater outcome. And that's what I've noticed. Every partnership I've, I've done has been a partnership of, of people that want to do something great in the community, that want to change people's lives. And it's been a great out, a great um, turnout. So we want to um, expand this and we want to we want to um, tell everybody about what we're doing and want to ask you to be in partnership with us, okay? Now, the things that we're going to be talking about is we're going to talk about how this can affect um, the community, how it can also affect your organization, how it can help your organization, your church organization, how it can affect it um, um, financially, how it can, you know, really, you know, do some great things financially for your organization also financially for the people of your organization and your your partnerships that you currently have and, and help you expand as well. Uh, we're going to talk about how this program, how this coalition team can help brand you even the more in our community. And you may be a part of different organizations and different groups, but um, I can assure you that you <laughs> it's, it's not going to be anything like um, what we're, what we're doing. We're talking about a coalition team that's focused on your agenda and helping you get what you need out there to the people, to the masses. And when we do community events and all the types of events that we're going to be doing, that we're going to talk about uh, in just a few minutes, how it's going to just maximize um, your efforts of what you're already currently doing. Now, we're not going to affect anything that you got going on currently. It's not going to stop your mission, not going to stop uh, what God has given you, if you if you're um, uh, a church leader, it, it's not going to stop what you what you got going on. It's going to actually help. It's going to aid. It's going to you know be a part of what you got going on. Because we're going to sit down uh, with you and we're going to talk with you and see how we can mold things together to make it work. And that's what it's all about: working together. You know, um, coming together to solve a problem is 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 is, is a good thing. You know, we have a serious problem in our community. You know it. You hear about it. You get the phone calls. You get the news. Things are not going the way they should be going in our community. And we have a lot of churches here, a lot of good 
great churches here, and we have a lot of community um, programs here, a lot of community groups here, a lot of good programs here. Some programs I didn't even know was here. <laughs> they here. So this is just a, a good way to get it all out and let people know, hey, look, this is what we got here. Okay? Come and find out. When we network with each other, the more and when we do certain things in our community, the more, it's, it's the more the merrier. Tell you. So we're getting ready to show, talk to you about um, our plans and our actions and, 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 and why we would like to form a coalition, why we're forming this coalition team and why we're asking you to, to join it and be a part of it in just a few minutes. Hi, my name is IAJ and I want you guys to come to my daddy's event and I just want to tell y'all that we're going to have a blast, so see you there. My name is Brother Aaron Washington. This is my son Jalen. We were invited to the Break the Cycle campaign hosted by Brother Marquis and his family. Uh, Brother Marquis and I have acquired a wonderful friendship. Uh, the friendship was built over a Christian martial arts uh, mindset. Uh, two brothers, two warriors coming together and he had exposed me to this uh, event. He had invited me to it and he supported the Mighty Fortress Martial Arts Academy and I felt the need to support him in the Break the Cycle campaign. It was a wonderful event, a lot of knowledge, a lot of fun. This boy, this young man has vision and I want to give this brother all the support and I encourage all of you all to give this young man and his family the support for this Break the Cycle campaign financial uh, stability, financial uh, education, and ways of helping yourself become financially stable and not need, but you can provide to become a lender and not a borrower. So we're getting ready to talk about why we need to form, is, why we need to form this, this coalition team. Number one reason why we need to form this coalition team because there's a lot of systems that's out there that's really affecting our community in such a negative way. And the only way we're going to do something about it is we got to actually put our money where our mouth is. We got to actually form the programs that's going to increase our uh, economics. We got to get that's important. It's not about being rich, getting rich quick. No, it's about creating economics so that we can really do some life-changing events in our community because right now we're not doing no life-changing events in our community I mean we got some organizations that are doing a good job but that's where it stops right there it's only affecting that that community we're talking about a worldwide we're talking about a community-wide um, community-wide events that's going to truly affect people and the number one thing is to really get people going is increase their income. Once that you can increase your income, and the, and the big dogs do it all the time. You, if you do research in all of these organizations, man, they the first, one of the first thing they do is they build their economics, they build their alliances, they build their partnerships, they 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 form these groups, they form they have these clubs, they have their meetings that you don't get letters to, they have all of their gatherings. In one location, they want they're under one umbrella, and no one man is in charge. It's a group of people that come together. They sit down. They say, "Look, this is what we need to do. This is our plan of action. This is how it's going to affect our organization. This is how it's going to better our organization. This is how it's going to increase our revenue. This is how it's going to increase and enlarge our territory." And they go out there and they make it happen, while we sit back and get the the whiplash of that. And that's what we're experiencing in our community right now. A lot of people don't want to talk about it, but this is what's really going on. So, your organization and my organization could come together and do some great things in the community that will change lives. And we don't have to do the hoo-hoo, rah-rah, the protesting and all that stuff. That's all good. I'm not saying that that's a bad thing, but all I'm saying is this, is... How many protesters have we had, and then how has it affected our community for real, for real? I mean, is there any good coming out of the protests that we are doing? Because uh, the protests that I know, since I've been looking at the protests and seeing the outcome, it's like they've been killing more of 
our melanin families and melanin folks. They've been having more killings. Now they just had a killing with the cops. Now they're going back and forth. So we can't continue to do the same thing expecting a different result. Um, and plus, these protests, there are a lot of it's a lot of emotions behind it. So when you get a lot of people that's being emotional and they and they start acting out, everybody's gonna follow. We've seen the, the riots and all kinds of stuff. People just lose all respect for authority, and and then it just become a whole big problem. So there's a better way that we can really uh, do some difference in our community, and that is one family at a time. Workshops. Workshops are very effective. When you get a group of people under the roof, it's just like the church. When you get a group of people under the church and they start listening to the word, they start applying the things that they're learning, their lives are better. When you see the ones that don't apply, we, we know the ones that don't apply. Their lives go a certain kind of way. This is the same thing. So I just feel that um, by forming this coalition team that we have, that, that we're forming, and that we already have, it will really do some life-changing events in our community. So let's talk about some of the things that we can do to actually um, um, to, to better our community. Let's talk about some of the events that we can do um, to really help your organization grow and also help um, the people in your organization grow as well.